hey hey everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today and y'all we are getting close we are getting so so close and um i'm getting excited i've been excited um been trying to calm myself down june 1st is right around the corner and so i want to start off this video by asking you a question are you participating in the wellness challenge again this challenge is not me challenging you this is a challenge a personal challenge this is a challenge for you to explore personal growth and development um, in the six different areas of health and wellness being medical mental finance nutrition fitness and spiritual health and well-being you want to grow your mission in life should always be a, a process of growth where you can continue to strive to be a better version of yourself whatever that looks like that might not look like for you the way it looks for me my goals may not be the same as your goals you may not have a need to grow in the financial area of health and wellness whereas i feel like i have room for growth so this challenge is not about a comp this is not a competition between two people this is just you exploring uh, personal growth and development using the six, six different areas of health and wellness um, you're tapping into those areas using tools that either you have found that I have provided um, maybe somebody recommended something for you and it is so very important for you to acknowledge the fact that you may not achieve all of your goals and that is okay you may not achieve all of your goals by the end of june and that is okay we have from the first until the eighth of july as a reflection period for us to we don't use the word fail failure or failed we um use that reflection period to examine areas that we still need to work on where we still have room for opportunity to grow and so you don't walk into it thinking that you're not going to grow and you're not going to make any improvements in that area but you want to keep an open mind because maybe um, you're a person who strives for certain things and you set the bar just a tad bit too high. Then your your reflection period should consider um, how much you should actually take on. How much or how high should you actually set the bar? Do you need to take baby steps? Um, do you need to break it up into sections? Um, those are things that you really need to think about. So for me, we're going to go ahead and talk about the things that I've decided for myself. Um, I don't have any complicated goals. I And none of the things that I have um, focused on as far as setting my goals for myself, they're not new to me. They're not new to you. They're not um, a surprise. These are not areas that I wasn't aware um, that I needed to do a little work on. Um, one of the things that I am constantly doing is trying to learn more um, trying to be more and so we're gonna go ahead and talk about what it is that I am going to be working on during the month of June this is not for accountability this is just to give you some ideas of what I'm doing and so maybe it'll help you think about what it is that you could be doing if you're not really sure where to start you don't have to do things the way that I do them. If you decide you want to participate in this challenge, you don't even have to focus on all six components. You can decide that that's too much for you. You can say, okay, well, I am going to do the challenge, but I just need to focus on the one thing that is the most important to me. And you're the only person that can make that decision. What is the most important for you? So first off for me, for the health of the medical uh, component for health and wellness, I am just really working better, working hard. And I will be focused on trying to create a schedule to make sure that I'm constantly and consistently taking my meds, making sure I get to the doctor, making sure that I pay attention with, to my body um, when I'm doing too much. I'm working on home improvement projects. Um, I don't want to, because I have a habit of getting in the... the um, the go, go, go 
uh, mindset and then even when I'm in pain or if I'm tired or if I get dizzy sometimes I don't always sit down sometimes it really takes me getting knocked down before I actually sit down and so I want to focus more on paying attention to the signs and the 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 signals that my body is giving off because I am getting older I have to be more cognizant of what my body can actually handle um, we can handle a lot more than what we than what we think we can and sometimes what we give ourselves credit for but we don't want to push ourselves to the point of um, now we're doing damage and so those are the things that I'm going to be thinking about for the medical um, also I want to try and figure out um, if there is a holistic approach to some of the medications that I'm taking, is there a way for me to um, maybe incorporate herbs or something into my diet and we'll get into the nutrition um, that will help to alleviate some of the symptoms um, for the conditions that I have where I will be able to stop taking certain medications. That's something else that I'm thinking about. So the next thing is going to be mental um, sometimes we need to take a day. Sometimes we need what they say, take a beat. Sometimes we need to process through some of the things, the challenges that we're facing. Um, and sometimes we don't give ourselves an opportunity to. And so this is where, um, I was saying before about not really being able to turn my brain off is I want to incorporate different tools and I want to incorporate different techniques, um, in order for me to woosah, when I need to and it it does and for it not to take so long or to be so difficult for me to be able to do that so I need to do my research and I need to learn um how to put myself in a, a, a mindset from a mental standpoint um where I am actually able to manage uh, my mental health a little bit better um i have not gone through periods lately where um i may be feeling a little depressed a little down i used to a long time ago and i don't know if that was tied to um like feeling the the symptoms of menopause because i had i had did have a hysterectomy and a partial oophorectomy and um, I know that when you're going through menopause, feeling um, different mental, uh, feeling different symptoms tied to your mental health uh, is a factor. So I definitely want to make sure that I am taking care of myself in that way. Um, not 100% sure what that looks like yet, but I am going to be doing the research. So as far as the fitness goes, y'all see that I have my bike, my treadmill, and I did find my five pound kettlebell, which I'm excited about that because that means that I'll be able to exercise with the kettlebell the way that I really want to without straining or hurting myself. And so for my fitness goal, um, you know, we talked about how uh, you want to reward yourself because at the end of the month, when you're going through your reflection period is when you're going to be calculating, like say for me, it's going to be financial. So that's the time that I'm, I'm going to be calculating uh, what my actual reward is going to be. Um, everybody, you will not reward yourself in, in money. You might reward yourself with um, a particular item that you have really had your eye on. Um, you may reward yourself by taking a couple days off. You know, you may reward yourself in different ways. And so I've decided that um, from a calorie standpoint, um, it's not really my focus for my nutrition because I have a hard time um, getting the uh, amount of calories I need to get in in a day anyway. So I don't want to focus, since I'm not focusing on calories in, I don't want to focus on calories burned so and then the other thing is I'm not really concerned about distance um, so I I decided that I'm going to reward myself 10 cents um, based on time so if I um, walk on a treadmill for 30 minutes and it's 10 cents for each minute if I ride the bike for 30 minutes it's 10 cents for each minute um, the amount of time that I do yoga, the amount of time that I exercise, um, 
whatever it is that I am tracking, I'm just going to do a flat 10 cents per minute. And so with that being said, I am going to make sure that I journal and I document everything that I'm doing because it's twofold. It's going to be um, pertaining to my reward, but it's also going to be um, for me to know if I'm improving. Because one of my goals from a fitness standpoint is to, to uh, build up my upper body strength. Um, that was one of the things that I talked about is that I'm dealing with uh, a little bit of muscle loss. I'm not as strong as I used to be. Um, and I definitely want to make sure that I build up my muscle, not just in my upper body, all over my body. But I'm targeting my upper body because um, my legs have always been, you know, strong. And so um, the other thing is for uh, fitness, I want to make sure that I am working on toning and tightening as well um i don't just want to do cardio i want to do some strength training i want to do some toning and things like that because you know your girl is trying to get snatched so i'm gonna have to really put in the work i do have a belt you know they they recommend that you wear your little exercise belt or whatever to help you sweat i have one of those i may invest in another one um I'm not really a huge fan of, you know, they have the whole suit or the pants and stuff. I don't want to do all of that because I'm not trying to pass out while, while I'm working out. So the next thing is the nutrition. Um, again, I am going to be trying to incorporate iron-rich foods, um, foods that are high in vitamin D, um, trying to get my greens in. I'm going to be juicing more. Uh, I was juicing pretty regularly. Um, I'm going to go back to doing that. I will be juicing every week, whether I... Um, juice you know i'm juicing every week so whether i actually consume more than once a day more than once a week i'm not really sure it just depends on my schedule and depends on how i feel um i am going to be trying out some new recipes so i'm excited about bringing that to you that's going to be some very interesting content um because i am going to be trying to incorporate more plant-based uh, options into my diet and so i will still be consuming uh, poultry and seafood um, we are eliminating uh, red meat um, that includes pork from our diet um, so there's there's just a whole nother situation about to happen and i am going to be looking forward to these dishes because uh, I'm, I am a type of person that, you know, if I'm cooking and eating, I want to really enjoy my food. I, I don't do nasty. <laughs> I, I do different, but I, I don't do nasty. If, it's, if it don't taste good, I just won't be able to eat it. Oh, and the other thing is um, my mom gifted me with a Nutribullet. I was going to have to invest in a, a full-size blender, but she gifted me with a Nutribullet. So I'm excited about doing some smoothies and stuff in that. I bought some um, some uh, frozen uh, produce. uh not too long ago and i got that in the freezer i have purchased a few things um to get ready for this journey and so i'm just excited y'all i'm just really really excited so for the spiritual health and well-being that is just going to be me trying to uh motivate motivate <laughs> meditate motivate and mentally just take a break um, every now and then to think about myself, um, to encourage myself, to speak words of empowerment into my life, to constantly remind myself, you know, who I am and, and that I'm worthy and I deserve all the things that my heart desires. So that is for me is extremely simple. Um, and then the last is going to be financial. This is, um, going to be, I have been working on a, a debt-free a program for myself. I have been doing extremely well with that. I have been spending a little bit more lately, but that's because I've been working on my house, which is something else that I had to kind of do because I put those projects down and just had been procrastinating, didn't want to do anything. And then the fact that my kids were here, so I couldn't work on my house around them. They were in, living in the areas that I needed to focus on. So they're gone. I'm able to um, work on the projects and get these projects seen through completion. I'm so excited about the progress that I'm making. My goal for myself was to be done by the end of next year. I foresee me being able to complete these projects by the end of this year. I'm still giving myself until the end of next year um, because you never know what might happen, but I'm not going to give up hope that I can get all of this stuff done by the end of this year. And again, you will see all this unfold through my videos 
And I just want to, you know, take the time to just remind you that I did make a post. My first video was herky jerky. I don't know what the heck was going on, but I literally had to re-edit the entire video um, from scratch and then re-upload it. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Um, in order for it to play because it was doing something weird. Those of you who watched that video all herky jerky, I appreciate it. Um, you could hear me fine, but the video is like it was stuck. So I went ahead and I uploaded another video. My very first post has all of the links and everything. And in that um, post, you're going to see the links that I have here. And it's going to be um, content creators that you can actually watch. Um, different videos on their channel whether it's dealing with fitness or whether it's dealing with like any type of medical situation there's one that i watch and he teaches you how to stretch out your pain so if you like if it's a certain part of your body that hurts he teaches you how to stretch so that you can alleviate the the pain that you're feeling i really like that one um Again, there's going to be five types of training that I'm going to be doing, and that's going to be the strength, aerobic balance, coordination and agility, and the flexibility and mobility. Um, working on upper body core and lower body, we will not be doing any of the zones, uh, more than one zone at a time. Um, I have a link in the um, the post that I'm referring to that talks about hydration, how much water should you drink? I remember one time this um, this lady she was working out, and it was a um, one of my coworkers, and um, she used to walk around with a gallon of water, and I used to think to myself that is entirely way too much water for one person to be drinking. And it is depending on your medical situation because if you're a person, say for example, that has diabetes, you have no business drinking all that water because your body has no way to um, to filter it. So what's going to happen is you're going to um, start having water retention. You're going to start having some other medical issues. So make sure you consult your physician. Um, use the link below to do the calculation. Talk to your doctor. Find out if the calculations are on point. If that's something that your doctor agrees with, then you set that as a goal for yourself and you follow what your medical, medical professional is telling you to do. Um, I am not a medical professional. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just a person who's been on a health and wellness journey um, for years. I hit a point in my life where I started getting really, really sick. Um, I, I plateaued out at about 257 pounds. I had to... Uh, made the had made the decision to have bariatric surgery which basically saved my life because of that i'm now dealing with an apron which weighs um they said anywhere from 12 to 15 pounds i wanted to get the apron removed because then i could truly wear the size clothes i'm a size six but i've had to buy a size eight sometimes about a size 10 depending on the, the the give of the fabric in order to accommodate my apron you all have seen it. I stopped hiding it. I stopped being embarrassed about it because there's nothing I can do. I have it. And so the, the, I'm not saying there's nothing I can do about my apron. I'm going to work on my abdominal area, my core to see if I can strengthen my muscles and all of that. And so, um, whether the skin will tighten up to my liking or not, I don't know. I've been told for years that it won't but we're gonna we're gonna test that theory through this um six week journey and i hope that you all would cheer me on and know that i'm doing my best and i'm going to be just trying to work hard to get my body in the condition that i'm going to be happy with so i hope that you'll join me all of the information is in my post. If you have any questions, please um, make a comment on the post. Feel free to email me. My email address is always in my about section. Um, you can also um, leave a uh, comment on any of the videos. I read all of the comments. Some of them are held for me to review. Um, if you're a person who comments regularly, I've tried to put your, your channel name in um, the section of my default upload so that it does not hold your comments because I know that you don't mean any harm and you are just making friendly conversations. So I try to do that for those who comment on my videos on a regular basis. 
connection rejection i miss you girl i miss you i miss you i see what you're doing all the uploads i feel um i really wish i could make comments on your videos to just keep continue to encourage you but i understand why you're doing what you're doing it is your personal choice if you're watching this video just know that um i'm here still in the background supporting you nothing has changed for me um I hope that you're going to participate in a challenge. If you don't, no big deal. Those of you who are participating in the challenge, y'all, let's get this done. And those of you who are not participating in a challenge, please, please, please leave comments where you are encouraging those of us who are participating in the challenge. Say positive things. Say uh, enlightening things. Um, if you have suggestions for recipes that you you know want us to check out. Um, Feel free to drop it, uh, the link to that video or leave a comment about where we could find the recipe. Um, if you have any information that you feel like would be helpful, what I am going to recommend that you do not do is to try to tell people anything from a medical perspective or a mental health perspective. Even if you're a licensed professional, please do not leave unsolicited comments about people's mental health and what they should do from a medical standpoint they need to refer to the medical professionals that are uh responsible for their personal care so i am going to say that those comments that i see will be deleted um and you potentially will be blocked because i don't want people offering suggestions and information to people via my channel my comments my posts etc um that could potentially uh hurt somebody or cause them to hurt themselves so with that being said y'all get ready for to get this thing in because you know it's all about the month of june we about to we about to do it we about to do it we about to do it do it do it do it, do it. come on y'all y'all ready for the uh, wellness challenge I am thank y'all so much for joining me if you're not already a member of the fetch fam what are you waiting for go ahead and download that app scan my QR code and get to scanning those receipts you might as well take advantage of it you're already spending the money the receipts translates into points the points translates into cash and you can redeem that cash via store card or cash card or you can donate to charity. Well, all right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. But you know, we don't do so without saying love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Bye.